This is Speak My Word Ministries, Travis Zimmerman. The Daily Pulse today is third in a series of eight of reflections from Camp Hidden Valley 27 years later. On that first night I was up there on Thursday night, it was it was it was getting hotter. It was kind of glowing, you know, growing to it, glowing it really <laughs> pretty much was glowing, but it was growing to a you know a crescendo of heat up there. And that night at three in the morning, we were awoken by this just massive massive storm and thunder and being in a valley it would reverberate and you would ju it, it was terrifying and I just found myself I, you know, I, I none of us could sleep I was in the tent and someone was saying check the weather and you know those tents are paper thin so you could hear everybody talking and we had scouts out that night who were sleeping in the wilderness as part of wilderness survival and I thought of my own wife and my own children back at home and I just prayed I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. I said, God, please, please protect these, these loved ones and these, these friends of ours. I want to share with you just about God. You know, as I heard that thunder, and as I always do, when I hear thunder, I think of God because it's so powerful. I'm going to read with you out of 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 10. Those who oppose the Lord will be shattered. He will thunder against them from heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. 2 Samuel chapter 2, verse 10. I'm sorry, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 10. And that power that the Lord exhibits through thunder, you know, we are mites, we are tiny ants in his sight. And we see that and we see that lightning and hear that thunder, and it's a reminder of his power. And he is coming back. And even when we're having times of trouble and we're scared, just like the disciples in the boat, we're to pray. And just pray to God to protect us, that he would, you know, in his, in his infinite love. God and sustain us even through ch life's difficult challenges and, and know that he is always, always in charge. In Jesus' name, amen.